Hello everyone, I'm Yul Michael, technical artist at KG Interactive, and today I thought we were going to take a quick look at how to get a custom rig from Maya into Unreal, and uh, also how to map it to the Unreal humanoid. So here I got a very special little guy and new character for Echo Tales, the little game I'm working on, and just a simple rig with pretty much the exact same set up as the Unreal one. Uh, it's lacking some twist bones and the names aren't exactly the same. So what I'll do is I'll just um, select my entire setup except for the root and also select my meshes. Uh, if you didn't know this, it's actually possible to export multiple meshes rather than one and not get any performance penalty inside of Unreal as it automatically combines the skin meshes on import. So I'm just going to go to my rigging tab and skin, bind skin. Just make sure that you have bind to selected joints set and max influences of four. Also that the skinning method is classic linear and the rest doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not going to do any fancy skinning this time. Let's just get our skin clustered and skin character out to Unreal. So again, I'm just going to select all of my skin bones as well as my two meshes in this case and export the selection. I want my smoothing groups, my tangents and binormals, my animation, making sure the skins is also set. All right. I'm going to name this SK underline echo tails edgard.fbx. All right, I'm just going to replace that. And these warnings don't matter right now. Let's go to our export and import. And here I got my Edgar as well as my open project. So let's import him here. I'm just going to select none, import mesh, skeletal mesh. I don't have a bind pose, so I'm just going to use T0As. Preserve my smoothing groups and import meshes as bones if you want that. Uh, also, if you have morph targets, make sure this is open and you find this underneath this show advanced. So this is very important for morph targets. So let's import all. And here we have my little character. I'm going to start off by saving all. Open it up, right? Oh, nice. There we got that. And we have the skeleton. So here in the skeleton manager, I'm just going to go to the retargeter here. And I'm going to add a new retarget source, which is going to be this little guy. And the rig I want to use is the humanoid rig. So to start off, let's just go with auto mapping and let's see, it got a lot of things right. The spine is going to be spine A, spine 2, spine B, spine 3, it's going to be chest. Clavicle on the left, that's also wrong. And I'm going to pause and fix all of these errors. Okay, so now that looks good. Let's go to show advanced and let's see. Yeah, the fingers are also off. So I'm going to change these out as well. And if you don't want anything, like I don't have an upper arm twist, you just go X to remove that. All right. So that's everything we're going to use for this guy. And with that, we're actually done. So let's just save that and whoop. Nice. We're also done with this. So I'm just going to go into my characters here and I've got my mannequin from the, this is the third person standard setup level. Just extend it a little bit. You could go in here, uh, select one of these animation sequences right click it and retarget duplicate and retarget and just select the new skeleton but what you can also do is you can actually go to the specific animation blueprint right click this 
and retarget the entire animation blueprint. So I'm just gonna select my. Oops, don't do that. I'm just gonna select this and I'm gonna replace mannequin with Echo Tails Edgar. And I wanna change this to animations, Echo Tails. Okay, nice. And now I'm just gonna retarget. As you can see, it creates everything that I have done before. Uh, it takes my blend space for walking, it takes um, a montage for punching, as well as all of the animations. Alright, so now let's go to our player, which is going to be this, our character mannequin. And I'm just going to go to here, viewport, and I'm going to switch out the character to my little Echo Tails character, switch out the Anim class to our new Anim class, I'm delete this weapon mesh. As you can see, this skinning wasn't exactly perfect. And um, all right, let's save and play without this window open. And there you go. We got our little character running around. And don't despair. In case you accidentally miss some of those uh, bones, like I did, because this is what it's actually supposed to look like. So, yeah, missed a hand bone there again, but doesn't really matter. You get the use of it. And um, if you did like this video, please uh, like and maybe subscribe to the channel, as there will be more Unreal and Unity content coming soon. Possibly, most important of all for me, it would be really nice if you wanted to follow Echo Tales on. Facebook and on Twitter. It's a small RPG slash shopping simulator game I'm working on in my spare time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.